Well, hello, friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. This is Cheryl. I'm so happy that you're here. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining me today. If you have been here before and have subscribed to my channel, I so appreciate you being here. And I hope others that join me will decide to subscribe to my channel as well. Today, I'm working in my, my Good Notes Digital Planner from in the month of November. And what I thought I would do today is to pick up where I left off in a previous video, sharing some of my favorite Good Notes features. So this is part two. In the future videos, I will share features as they come up in the video. But today I just wanted to kind of pick up in what I'm calling this part two of my favorite Good Notes features. So I kind of laid out my monthly spread already and used some of my elements that I created uh, in Adobe XD and or Photoshop. And some of these are um, Adobe free photos that I um, manipulated for my uh, planner use. So we are in the first full week of November and my weekly spread is Monday through Sunday. I already, I'm using those pumpkins again and I will share the file with the pumpkins in numbers zero to nine and a few other uh, elements that I thought you might enjoy. So look for the link in the description box below of this video. So the first one is arranging layers and I'm going to click on this elements icon here, the one with the star, and I'm going to tap on the iPad. And what I want to do is I want to resize. You can see these little anchor points here. There's four of them. And what this one does is it kind of turns it. Uh, you can use that if you wanted to turn it, but I want to put it right over this just so thankful saying there and I need to make it just a wee bigger okay and so what I'm going to do is that's pretty much where I, I want it to be so now what I want I need for this to be behind that text tool there so I'm going to click on it and now I get these options here so I want to arrange and I want to send this to the back now there's a, you saw that there were two options there, a range I could send to the front, which will keep it covered up or a range to the back. So those are your two options uh, in that tool there. Now you, you also notice is that this text is not a, because I saved it as a, as an image in from Photoshop. I didn't save it as a PNG. It's a, it's a JPEG file, which means it doesn't have a clear background. So if you're making your own text files in Photoshop or some other photo um, program, make sure you save it as a PNG file, which means it will have a clear background, sort of like these, this file here. You can see that it, I need to be on the lasso tool. You can see that it has a clear background. So that's kind of what you want. Um, most in most instances. Okay, so now I have that. So that's the arrange. And the other thing you can do here is you can make your own shapes. So these four little um, shapes right here means you can make a, uh, a square or a rectangle, a circle or a triangle. So whatever color your pen or pencil tool is, that is going to be the color of your shape. The other thing that you need to make sure is if you want the fill color, you either turn it off or on. Okay, so I'm going to leave mine on. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle. If you hold it down, it will make a perfect circle. And then when I let go, it's going to fill. And I'm going to change the color, a different color. Uh, and then I'm going to draw a rectangle. Now, the thing of this is also you want to make sure you don't lift up your 
pen tool or whatever you're using to draw your, your shape. Now again, when I let go, it's going to fill it in with that color. Now I don't actually need either one of these. Um, so I'm just going to use, I'm going to click on it and I don't get the option to delete. So I'm going to use the lasso tool and delete it. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one because I don't need either one. Okay. <clears throat> the other thing, I'm just going to draw another shape here. And I do need to be on <laughs> the pen tool. The lasso is not going to get it. So I'm going to... Oh, that is the, that's the highlighter. I don't need that one either. So let's get the eraser tool. So that's the pencil tool. And... Okay, so there we got that one erased. So let's go ahead and um, we can use, we'll use that. And so we can go ahead and we can change our color. So I want a different color and you can use this in any, the pencil, pen, highlighter, you can use the same step. So if I wanted a different color, so I wanted to pick a color. Okay, then otherwise the, those that are, not up here so I can choose a custom color now if I click on the I can choose from the this color here any of these colors here and this color palette or if I wanted to use the pick my own color then what I could do is I can use this and find a color that I like any color that's on this screen I could choose one of these colors. Okay, so maybe let's choose one of these colors here. One that's maybe a little more, not quite so red. I'm trying to find it, but oh, that's a pretty color. Okay, so now I can save it as a preset. So you see that little plus sign, add to presets. And so that's what I want to do. So now it shows up here in my presets. So now if I take the highlight of the pen, that color shows up. Okay, so here's the pencil tool. It shows up. I can go back and to my presets. And there it is. I can use it there. And I can use it also here. So I just need to go back to my presets. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the eraser and erase those so that's how you can use the color presets and you can use the eyedropper tool to get a custom color and you can get a custom from anything that's already on your screen you can use that color there now let's see I talked a little bit about cropping images so let's see what we have in my photo library that maybe I might want to crop. So let's grab this tree here. And I don't necessarily want to crop it, but for this demonstration, say I just wanted the top part of this tree. So these little up and down arrows, I'm going to click on that and I get this option to crop. So I can crop from the bottom, from the top, anywhere of these anchor points here. I could crop so let's go ahead and I'm going to click done okay it's going to save the crop okay so now what I could do is I could use it here and just like we did before is I could send this to the back and so now that becomes an element so I'm going to use the highlighter tool to just kind of move it around a little bit and you notice when you use it, it, when you click on it, it brings it back to the front. But once I click off of it, when I'm done, it goes back behind. So that's another one of my favorite features is I love using the, the crop tool. If something, if it's got too much, say if I wanted to crop this, I could crop it so that it doesn't have these little jaggedy edges. I could crop that. You can see there, I could just come down around, make sure, get rid of those little jaggedy edges so that it looks more like a perfect rectangle. 
okay and then I click away click done and now when I click off there we have it okay so these are just some of my favorite ones now let's see if there's anything else uh, now I wanted to use the ruler to kind of line up my my make sure everything is pretty much lined up so it looks like I did a pretty good job of lining everything up. Now I could probably move some of these around, but that actually looks pretty good just eyeballing and freehanding um, those. So you just need to make sure you click on it again and then it goes away. Now the last thing, uh, I think I kind of talked about this last time. You, you can have your, make your own sticky notes too. So that is... This is a green sticky note, which is the, I, I haven't chosen many colors here. So just like the other tools, I could choose more colors for my sticky notes. So let's go ahead and grab the lasso tool and move this up a little bit. So, and then I could put that behind here. Again, using my arrange tool. So I need to send it to the back. So again, there are so many options in GoodNotes. And of course, all of my links, this probably needs to be um, a separate video, but you can, all of these links for each one of these I created in GoodNotes. So maybe that will be for a different video. So um, what I wanna do is I want to go ahead and just do a couple more things. That was not the one I wanted to so I'm going to undo. So anyway, I'm going to get rid of that sticky note uh, at the end of this video when I'm get when I get done. OK, so I have a couple more elements that I wanted to add um, into my. This week's planner, so just uh, I'm on a pumpkin kick for some reason, and you can see that this is not a PNG file either. So I want to get rid of some of these uh, this white around it just a little bit so then when I resize it it will fit in the planner page just a little bit better so a lot of that white won't be exposed so now I'm going to make it kind of tiny and then I can have it so that it sits behind I think this is probably as good a place as it can be right here and if I send it to the back arrange and send to the back it looks like it's part of the page no problem so arrange and crop all in for one element so I'm just going to do a couple more and see what else we got here now let's see I'm going to use this frame I think which one Mm, I think I'll do this one. Come back, come back. Okay, we'll do this one. Okay, now what I can do with this is I can, which I'm going to do, is I'm going to stretch it. It's going to look wonky, but that's okay. And then after looking at that, I decided, hmm, that's kind of not what I want it to look like after all but maybe I want it to be just in maybe one spot so let's choose this one and what I could do with this one is I could make it a whole lot smaller so that it fits right here okay so just kind of resizing it a little bit more and so it's going to cover up some of the checklist and that's okay if i stretch it a little bit it doesn't look quite as distorted as that other one now do i want to keep it here i think so now let's see what we could do with this header one here now that's not a png so that wouldn't be a good one to use so i'm not going to use that one but i do want to use Part of this one here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my crop tool 
and I'm going to crop some of it off and I'm going to look for a good spot to crop or do I want it to yeah I'm going to crop here and I'll be done there and then what I can do is I could duplicate it copy and see the and I'm going to paste it and now I just made my own header now what I want to do is I want to I think that's probably enough for right now that looks pretty good I think so let me know in the comments what you think about this I'm going to bring this one to the front okay so that actually looks pretty good I'm going to actually I'm going to send this to the back where's my range send to the back and there I have my my pumpkins and my dates numbers and that actually looks pretty good so we did the arranged layers we did a little bit of the scribble to shapes we looked at the ruler color presets and eyedropper cropped quite a few images today I did the um, sticky notes talked about that a little bit and I want to do um, more uh, in a later video about setting up your own custom links in GoodNote 6. I'm working on my 2025 planner uh, and maybe I'll do a sneak preview of that and have some of the um, custom, do a demonstration of the custom links. So that is it. There's not a whole lot going on this week. Uh, as you can see, I don't have any particular um, appointments. Um, I could probably go over here and copy this Bible study fellowship and use that. Let's, let's go ahead and do that one because I do have Bible study fellowship and I'm going to copy that and I'll just paste that right there. And that's really all that is on the calendar for this week. So lot of free time i'm sure that you know my husband will come home and he'll find something to add to the calendar but for right now that is basically it um so i hope you enjoyed this video thank you again take care and i will say ciao for now bye bye